Hey guys. Um, this is not one of those typical videos that um, that I want to actually upload. And it's not something that I'm happy about making. But I felt, I felt the need actually to actually make it. I've, um, I've actually been, or I've, I've been through a very, um, horrific personal, um, situation that that had transpired um, I I lost my my um, I lost my 18 year old daughter ironically the 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 last video that I that I uploaded later that day um, my daughter, my daughter, she, she took a life. And it opened, it opened a, a world of hurt. Something that I can't describe. The reason that I'm, I'm actually struggling to, to make this video is because um, I felt that I had to for so many reasons and I'll, I'll tell you why. I, I, when I was going through the process of Going through um, the thoughts of how um, I could go through um, the the funeral arrangements, I I was lost. I was I was I was lost because I found myself in a situation situation that I was I wasn't prepared for, and that that evening, the only thing that that I thought to try to, I guess, tackle one of the problems first, besides the the tremendous loss that I was going through, um, was how was I gonna bury her? I mean, like, that's not something that I ever contemplated or even planned, especially at, at her young age. For any of my childs, I don't even think any parent is prepared for something like that. And I thought to myself, I'll sell my car, I'll sell off my snakes because I, I, I do have a large collection, but it wasn't gonna help me immediately at that time. And unfortunately, I've been in this long enough in the reptile hobby and I know how people would look at this as a firehouse sale and they'll take full advantage of me to the point that um, it's not what I was going through, it's what they can get out of it. And I couldn't, I couldn't actually take that step because um, it takes too much time and that's not something I had. So I went in and I opened up a GoFundMe page. And through that GoFundMe page, I received an, an enormous amount of support. Even more, I received more support within the community, the community that, that I've grown to love and shared so many things with so many incredible people. 
YouTube made that possible. Going to expos made that possible. Actually being in this hobby of ball python made it possible to me be part of a community that everyone is considered family. And I remember the last expo that I went to Tindley, Justin Kibilka made an emotional speech about the gratitude that him and Chase were, were couldn't, couldn't even begin to express and describe basically everyone that contributed in one way or another with donations or prayers, part of his extended family. And I remember that, that speech so well. And that touched me because I was like, wow, this is an incredible, incredible community. <laughs> and that's, that's who I reached out to, to, to try to help me out. And I was surprised of the support, the love the compassion that I actually received for so many people. <laughs> I called them my brothers. Um, Shane, Shane Kelly from Small Town, Rob Barclow and Richard Barrows. I mean, like, guys, I love you, first of all. <laughs> when When I got the news, even though it wasn't confirmed, I reached out to, to immediately to all three of them, not knowing what to expect. I just told them, guys, I need prayer. I need prayer. I don't know what's going on, but something's bad, and I need your prayers. And that's all I could send out. That's all the all I could actually send out to them. And they were frantic. They were like, oh, Ron, what's going on? Is everything okay? And that's when I got to the situation. That's when I got to basically where my daughter passed. And Rob, Rob Barco, he lives in Malaysia. He lives in Malaysia. When after I got done with the police and everything. Rob called me. Rob called me. And I broke down. I broke down. I broke down and and he talked me through that first few minutes of what was going on and and it was hard. It was it was really hard. But um, going past that, I went home, I created the GoFundMe, and in the first minute of uploading it, um, my three brothers, they reached out immediately, and they pushed the word out. They, they put the word out. And... Even though I don't have a large reach and I know my channel is not that large and I'm not that widely known, I, through that channel, I, I've also had the pleasure and the benefit of meeting another brother within the hobby that I also love with all my heart. And that's Earl Jones from Lone Star Reptiles. We met in Tinley and basically we we hit it off. Earl is another one of those great, great friends that would always check up on me with basically the earthquake. Um, if I was able to attend the, the February um, NRBC show. And we would always have a constant communication with each other over the phone. And it was funny because it was 3 in the morning and I was still in the airport picking up my children. And at that time, three in the morning, our time, I imagine it was probably one in the morning in, in where he was at. And I just texted him 
the beginning of a conversation and he immediately called me something I didn't expect and while I was waiting for my 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 kids my other kids to arrive from their flight I I broke down with Earl I broke down with Earl and Earl at the time it was he he didn't bat an eye or even pause for a minute for letting me actually to express the grief that I was going through and took the time to actually listen to 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 my pain and share my grief he also helped me more than you can imagine he um he also went in and in his personal Facebook group and in other ways he reached out to so many other great people that also reached back to me with their support and their words of condolences besides other things and that one thing that Earl told me was is that you're in my family you're my family well you know we're gonna get through this I I I don't even see how how to get through something so so horrible like this. But within my my extended family and obviously the family here that I have struggling and and coming to terms I never expected that within the community of, of the reptiles, I had more family. And I just gotta, gotta, I gotta say to you guys, I love you for that. Thank you for, for taking me in, in the family of this community and being with me in the most difficult times. You know, a lot of people, they ask me, you know, what's so good about snakes? Well, it's just a snake. But the community that that makes up the collection and the, 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 the enthusiasm of what that snake has that's the, the, the gold. That's the, that's the real part that a lot of people, especially if they're they're trying to get into this. It's an unexpected benefit that they're going to get from this. I'm still broken. I got to tell you, um, I don't even know how I'm, I'm, I'm talking, but I had to because honestly, there's so many people that I want to actually say thank you and that I love you for, for being there for me. I don't know when I will have the chance to actually upload another video talking about this hobby. It's going to take me a while. It's going to take me a while to get there because honestly, I don't know how. But my daughter would always push me and she'd always leave special little letters or notes because she knew I was always working within my reptile room working with with all my snakes and everything and and I guess that's another reason why it pushes me actually to continue doing this and if it wasn't because I was doing this I wouldn't be part of a, a an extended family that I've actually found within the community One one thing that I did, because honestly, I, I don't want to forget the pain and the suffering that I that I have to go through. Um, I, I tattooed my daughter's name on my arm. And right there, that's the, the, the sign for suicide prevention, which is a semicolon. And I, I tattoo that on my arm 
because I don't want to forget my her name. I don't want to forget the pain. And I want to look at it every time for myself to see. To give me feeling that basically, even though I also have to fight this this hard struggle. I want that pain to show some other other people that this is a real serious issue. If you ever contemplate in doing something like this to yourself because you feel that your burdens are bigger and you just can't take it, that burden you're passing it out to other people. And that's a life sentence for that person that has to carry it. My father committed suicide and that traumatized me my whole life. And I struggled so much not to replicate that pain onto my children. Now I have the second part of that pain because now I have a daughter that went through it. I don't want anyone to be going through what I went through. She was my life. She was my my baby girl. And I have a guilt on me that I don't know if I'll ever be able to lift. But I'm gonna make sure that I that her name, her legacy, the love that we share is gonna live forever. I'm sorry if I'm actually giving too much information that I should about my personal life. But I see that I have family within this community. And I just wanted to say thank you for being there for me. Thank you for your support. And thank you for your prayers. Uh, there's too many of you to actually go into detail specific to mention, but I just want to say I love you all. I included a, a video of what my daughter meant to me. And I wanted to share. I wanted to share that with you. Even though it's not reptile related. But I, I wanted to share it because I want you to see. And I want you to feel my grief and my pain. And maybe feeling my pain. If you're ever in a situation that you're ever thinking of contemplating. On doing something similar. You'd be persuaded because you're leaving a bigger pain behind. Despierto con el alma hecha a pedazos Hoy me despido sin querer decir adiós Vete despacio para no sentir tus pasos Vete en silencio para no escuchar tu voz No te niego que siento Solo me acompaña tu retrato Y en las mañanas suelo reclamarle a Dios Que ya no insista en arrancarte de mis brazos 
Ya no podría soportar tanto dolor No te niego que siento miedo de Enfrentarme a la vida sin ti Y ahora que te vas Llévate mi vida entera No sé ni a dónde Está faltando el aire y en minutos te me vas La impotencia de perderte me está comiendo el alma ya Sé que te está faltando